You really didn't have to come with me, Moresco. I know. You didn't have to be there for me when I gave up Sierra, but it meant a lot to me that you were. I just hope this pays off. No physical contact with the prisoner, understood? What do you two want? You're gonna tell me who I really am. Oxy told me the whole story. How you switched her and Mitch's dying baby for a healthy one. Me. I wish I'd carried the truth to my grave. Yeah, I, I don't give a crap what you wish. Mitch just... is very unhappy with me for deceiving him all these years. He's furious, in fact. Mitch isn't the only one. Who asked you? He will forgive me in time. I'm not sure I can say the same for Skyler, his ungrateful son who only tried to kill him. But perhaps prison will bring them closer together. Skyler is not my problem. At least he knows who his real parents are. I still don't. How unfortunate for you. Roxy got a DNA test done. It proved that we are not related, but my birth certificate still lists Mitch as my real father. Now, how could that be? You mean, did he sire you with some other woman? Yes. Like who? You. If I'd had the honor of bearing Mitch's child, my whole life would have been different, but I didn't. Thank God for that, at least. You could have done a lot worse. Actually, you did. Worse than having you and Mitch's parents. Having parents who didn't give a wit about you? Who threw you away like trash? Dumped you at a hospital? How did Mitch's name get on my birth certificate? Same way Roxy's did. I had to convince Mitch that you were his son, so I made one up that said you were. Why should we believe anything you have to say? You shouldn't. But there is someone else who can tell you the truth. Who? Mitch, I'm not allowed anywhere near him. I'm talking about that little tramp who was supposed to deliver the chosen child, Stacy Marasco. She has what you're looking for. Well, Stacy is dead. I knew that. Okay, so how could she possibly tell me what I want to know? I was watching that girl practically from the moment I woke up from my coma. Certainly from the moment the messenger believed she was pregnant with his grandchild. Yes, always the helpful little psycho. All the same, Stacy stole a sample of Mitch's blood and hid it. She did. Why? I wondered the same thing at the time. How stupid of me not to realize. Obviously, the girl knew her baby wasn't Rex's, so she must have been planning to switch Mitch's blood for a sample of the baby's so she could fake a match to you, Rex. Of course she did. Too bad it wouldn't work, since you and Mitch are no relation. But I have to say, I really admire the way that girl thought. So how does any of this help me? Stacy stored the blood in a fake soda can in the fridge at the loft. It should still be there. Mm. So you can test Mitch's blood against George and find out once and for all if he's your dad. <sighs> Pretty sure he's not, but it would still be nice to know for sure. There's still one thing that I do not get. Just one? Mitch's stem cells saved our son's life when he had leukemia. Mitch was a perfect match. Now, how could that be? Yes. Well, that is very interesting. His stem cells being a match for Shane was a pure dink. Right. You don't believe the messenger's blood could save your son? He's a sacred man, touched by God. He doesn't share any DNA with Shane. Look, I know a family member is not always the best match. Of all the people in the donor registry, only some woman in Australia matched Shane. But Kyle Lewis swears up and down that he drew those stem cells from Mitch. Then what happened? He gave the stem cells to Roxy and Stacy so they could switch them with Stacy so they had seemed like they came from her. I have no idea about that. Consider the blood in the soda can a gift. Guard? If you'd escort me back to my oh, cell. D -d 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 not, not so fast. There's still one more thing I need to know. Now, Roxy said the day you stole me and passed me off as her and Mitch's kid, you just happened to find this baby abandoned at the hospital. And in that moment, I came up with the most brilliant plan I've ever had in my life. 
stealing a child. Did you see who left me at the hospital? No, I just heard the nurses discussing you. It's such a shame. I know. A beautiful, healthy little boy to just abandon him. That's all I ever knew about the boy. Except that Mitch named him Rex. And here you are. But what about the nurses? Do you remember them? It was such a long time ago. Lucky you. I have a great memory. Oh, I love him so much. I don't want to give it up. How could I possibly forget a name like Wojohowitz? Wojo what? Wojohowitz. That was one of the nurse's names. Spell it. W O J C I E H O W I C Z.